Would you believe me if I told you that similar to pelvic binders, tourniquets, and wound packing, trauma surgeons are known for using urinary or Foley catheters to stop massive bleeding and save patients' lives? In a series of videos that I'm entitling The Trauma Surgeon's Toolbox, I'm going to share with you the tips and tricks of the trade when it comes to temporarily or definitively managing bleeding in either the ER or operating room, so be sure to share and follow. When it comes to bleeding control efforts in the pre-hospital setting, patients with extremity wounds can have direct pressure, packing, and tourniquets applied. But for patients who have injuries to junctional areas like the neck or the armpits, axilla, or groins, options are limited and include digital pressure as well as packing. The challenge with these junctional areas like the neck is that large blood vessels, seen here are the common carotid artery as well as the internal jugular vein, typically traverse these areas and when they're injured, they can bleed a lot. And it's so important to emphasize here that like in the Navy, when we're doing damage control, we're looking to temporarily, by whatever means necessary, stop the bleeding so that we can keep the ship or patient afloat. And I'm telling you right now, you would be surprised at the number and types of organs that I've stuck a Foley catheter balloon in. One particular situation in which Foley balloon tamponade can be very effective is among patients who have been stabbed or shot in the supraclavicular fossa, and you can see a bullet here lodged below the clavicle with a pleural hematoma. In these patients, they can hose out of their subclavian vessels, which are usually not amenable to digital pressure. In these cases, we'll insert a Foley balloon deep into the pleural cavity, instill it with sterile water or saline, and then apply traction to compress the subclavian vessels against the clavicle. If one doesn't work, you can insert a second one. Among patients who have cardiac wounds, whether that's from a gunshot wound or stab wound, once you get ROSC, you can always replace your finger with a Foley catheter, inflate it, and apply gentle traction so as not to make the injury larger. I personally don't like this option. Occasionally, among patients who are bleeding from an intercostal vessel, you can also insert a Foley catheter, inflate it, and apply traction similar to the other areas of the body. Have you seen this used in your ER? Be sure to like, share, and follow for more.